Sometimes the Reds hide coded messages in plain sight. Park says you're one of the best cryptographers to come out of MI6. Let's see. Greetings and salutations, folks. My name's Nick, and welcome back to Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. We're, we're attempting to solve this, um... It looks like the game is providing some assistance, though. Uh, to examine the evidence for oper Operation Chaos, decrypt the floppy disk, um... I don't know what part this plays. Uh, but let's try entering that number, 4552, which is for Miami, uh, on the numbers station. Sure. Passphrase. Okay, so we've got the right code. But we don't have the passphrase. I think. And supposedly this is going to provide a passphrase for us? But at the same time, there are no letters. Okay, so I think I was just confusing myself um, because I was trying to look for a pattern between both the red and the blue numbers. But what I all only needed was a, a red number and a separate pattern for the blue numbers. So the pattern for the red numbers goes from 51 plus 1 is 52, plus 2 is 54, plus 3 is 57, and then plus 4 is 61. So that question mark for the red is 57. Uh, for the blue number, 71 plus 6 is 77, plus 6 is 83, plus 6 is 89, plus 6 is 95. So that's 57, 95. Which is Atlanta. So the code is to decrypt the disk uh, 4552 Atlanta. Authenticate? Of course. Hell yeah. That's it. You did it, Val. Now that we got what we need, we can safely move on all day. All right. So now let us launch the mission and enter Operation Chaos. See if we can track down this ex-CIA operative named Robert Aldrich. Apparently he has Mason, I guess? Alright. I'll let Mason and Woods know that we're ready. They'll be handling this one. Our source tells us that Aldrich is about to move south across Colorado and into northern New Mexico. That's where we'll intercept his convoy. We can't let a former CIA operative run a person's spy factory. Let's put this asshole six feet under. All right, clear this side mission, get these push pins off of this map. Eventually. I can't believe Aldrich betrayed the CIA. Betrayed the whole fucking country. Phoenix 2-4, this is Phoenix 2-1, 30 seconds out. We're up, Mason. 
Locked and loaded. A loud message, I presume? Oh, I thought we were gonna... Do some fighting from the safety of the air. Woods, oh my... The AI in this game, this isn't the first time the AI has decided, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna run directly into his fire. Yeah, but I'm hurt, so I have to get to cover. Woods. Do you want to get shot? Uh, is this gas station going to blow up? Ah, hello. Oh my. Hello. There we go. And you... What am I leaving behind, other than flashbangs? Sigma 2. Ooh. Uh, nope. Not a good strategy. You and you, maybe a lot of guys out here. A lot of guys just want to kill me. That's okay. Let's get to the motel. Keep moving. Wow, this uh is only so accurate. Get away from the grenade. All right. Air conditioning, cable TV, pool, and more three. All right, let's load, shoot my last rocket at the side of the motel. Oh my gosh. What was that?
Did I only? Um, all right, let's swap out this, uh, uh, yeah, for that with eight bullets. Why not? We don't need more than eight bullets. That's okay. All right. Did I get him? I think I got him. He's finished. Mason, let's get a picture of Aldrich. For the CIA family photo album. For the traitor section. You know, the shitty part. <laughs> got the photo. All right. Fuck out of here. Ooh. And he had a grenade launcher, too? No can do, sir. You know, there really should be a game that does that reproduction of, like, um... That scene in Terminator 2, where you're just blowing up all of the cars in the parking lot. Who's shooting? Oh, those guys are shooting at me. Nope, that's a set of stairs. Actually... Nope, don't get blown up by a grenade. Nope. Keep going, woods. One side mission down. I don't think I have enough evidence to worry about the second side mission. Uh, that would have to be gathered in later regular missions. There's also a lock. On uh, one on a fence in this area, but I'm not I'm not sure what I have to do to get through it. it mentions three items: clinical record, Warren Commission, Dallas News article. So in theory, I could probably get six numbers from those pieces of evidence. As long as I'm looking for a clinical record, a Warren Commission, and a Dallas News article. Well, we got some more evidence now for Perseus. Like this photo of the tactical nuke, uh, which the team acquired in East Berlin. The CIA suspects that Volkov was smuggling this device to the city, presumably to turn over to Perseus, who has long coveted the nuclear weapon of his own. Um, Operation Greenlight Printout. Perseus discovered and exploited a CIA program not even Russell Adler and his team were aware of. Jason Hudson is one of the leaders of Operation Greenlight, a covert program placing 
strategic U.S. nuclear devices in European cities, Greenlight is the last ditch effort to prevent the Soviets from invading Europe. But its execution would carry a terrible price. Yes, it would. Um, Yamanto Mainframe Report. Uh, Perseus downloaded the materials from the Mainframe Report, then promptly deleted them. Once the Mainframe was transported back to Langley, the CIA analyzed it, but very little of value could be recovered. The CIA managed to acquire a partial list of code names, but none of the real names associated with those aliases. Despite sabotage by Perseus, the CIA knows what he is after. The sleeper agents that Nikita Dravovich once planned to use for his own attack on the, C on the United States 13 years ago. Would it be Dravovich or Dravovich? Because usually it would be... Are, are they adding on the CH so that Americans can pronounce it better? Um, that's our next mission. We're not going to worry about that right now. But we've got evidence. Uh, we've got a photo of Dmitry Belikov. Major Dmitry Belikov is the most valuable CIA asset with the KGB. He is the key to getting Russell, Adler, and Bell into the Lubyanka building. Uh, in the 1960s, Belkov participated in a number of clandestine Soviet operations in Czechoslovakia, Jordan, and Mongolia. At the end of the decade, he was briefly involved in a program to train North Vietnamese pilots to fly Soviet helicopters, an initiative whose support eventually waned. It was late 1967 when Belkov came into contact with CIA operative in Laos, a meeting which would forever change his perspective on allegiances. That path led him to Jason Hudson. We got a photo of the Lubyanka building, which is going to be housing the KGB. Constructed in 1898, it became the headquarters of the secret police, or the Cheka, following the Bolshevik Revolution. It currently serves as the headquarters of the KGB, Cheka's successor. Closing their eyes. When the CIA needs the services of Dmitry Belkov, they usually ask him to provide sensitive information. For this high-stakes mission, Belkov will need to do more than that. He will need to get Russell, Adler, and Bell a keycard for the underground bunker which houses the classified information they seek. One of the first orders of business will be for Belkov to turn off the main camera system. Covering his own tracks will be a key to success. KGB time card sheet. As the current head of security for KGB headquarters, Dmitry Belkov has intimate access to the comings and goings of most denizens within the building. Even with this valuable information, the mission is extremely risky due to the likelihood un of unforeseen events. Front page of the Chronicle, titled Brezhnev Proposes Renovations for Lubyanka Square District. A letter to Brezhnev. This classified Soviet letter recently acquired by Dmitry Belkov in the letter the head of the KGB, Yuri Andropov, writes to General Secretary, KGB Maintenance Order, and Augmented C4 Mechanic. None of those sound like... What was the thing that we needed? I've already forgotten. This is why I write things down. Clinical Record, Warren Commission, Dallas... Let's write that down. Clinical Record Warren Commission Dallas News Article. I'm pretty sure we found none of those in the evidence that I've just gone through. So then we have the brick in the wall mission, which we've already completed. We've got photo, photo, survey, surveillance, East Berlin, U-Bahn. Echoes of Cold War. We have Nikita Dragovich. Integrated circuits. A magnetic tape. Uh, within large mainframes like the one recovered by Frank Woods, Alex Mason, and Dmitry reels provide the ability to store massive amounts of data. That's amazing. Sleeper Agent Report. Uh, we don't have enough evidence for the Operation Red Circus. We still have one more left to collect. 
in order to try to stop Vad Vadim Rudnik. Got a matchbook. Uh, there's the red light, green light. Burger Town! Hmm. I might not be able to crack this one. But let's see what everybody is up to. Adler. What's on your mind? Do you think we'll actually get inside the KGB? This isn't the first government agency I've broken into. The best are virtually impenetrable. But there's always a weakness. In this case, the weakness is the KGB placing too much trust in one of their own. So I'm the right person for the mission. If there was ever an operation suited to your skill set, it's this one. I handle the talking. You get us the names. Why do you ask? Uh, no reason. I won't let you down. Okay. How well do you know Belikov? I don't. He's not one of mine. Does that seem like a risk to you? If I couldn't put my life in the hands of fetid strangers, I'd be in a different line of work. Is Belikov one of Park's agents? No. MI6 focuses mainly on the perimeter. Agents and client states. Smaller figures within the USSR. They go from the outside in. Belikov is one of ours. Supposedly. I'm trusting Hudson here. The man can be a pain in the ass, but he's no fool. <clears throat> I have to ask, how did you get those scars? Scar? You mean this? Is it noticeable? <laughs> I jumped off a roof in Calcutta back in 75 while chasing a Soviet agent. The jump was successful. The landing, not so much. Advice? Always make sure you know where the utility poles are. That's all I needed. Okay. Plausible story? Actual story? We may never know. Helen, what are you up to? Well, I didn't expect to see you back here. Um, any advice for sneaking into the hornet's nest? Less is more. Less talking, less interaction, less commotion. Blend in. That makes sense. It's the last place they'll expect an intrusion, so they'll have that to your advantage. Pretty much everything else is at your disadvantage. Uh, what's your role in this op? Coordinating infill and exfill. We've had to move mountains to fashion an untraceable route to Lubyanka Square. I'll make sure that goes off without a hitch. Getting you out, however, is another headache entirely. <laughs> uh, why are you developing film? I've requested updated aerial reconnaissance to aid in planning your escape route. I don't want to run into any unknowns. Our path out of the Soviet Union will be anything but conventional. Uh, Hudson has no faith in me. Why? Hudson has his biases. There are people he'll never trust, and certain people he trusts impeccably. It just so happens you fall into the former category. I wouldn't dwell on it. Alright. Have you encountered any resistance from him? Hudson was leery about commingling with other intelligence agencies, but after President Reagan greenlit Adler's operation, he fell in line like a good little American patriot. Why have you been hiding that scar on your neck? Remember when I warned you about inquiring into Adler's past? Some of that was likely projection. We're not always proud of our scars. It looks disgusting. It adds character, a testament to your strength. I believe there are better ways to embellish one's character. Too true. But in our line of work, it's often more important to diminish the impression we leave on people. That is... I wouldn't argue I'll be with that. If you need me. Alright. Anybody else want to have a conversation? Hudson. Buddy. Pal. How are you? Have you come to convince me that you should be headlining this operation? Um... My service speaks for itself, years in the field and in intelligence. Oh, is that right? Well, at 
At least you're not hiding behind Adler. I'll grant you that. Now, what is it? Um, how well do you, we know this Belikov? That's on a need-to-know basis. From where I'm standing, there's no reason in hell you need to know that. You're to make contact with him and follow Adler's lead. <laughs> uh, will we assume fake identities? We can't take the time to fabricate them. Belikov will get you uniforms, and from there you'll need to improvise. Strategically speaking, this board is on insanity, which is precisely the type of work we rely on Adler for. And where does that leave me? Either as Adler's most trusted ally, or as cannon fodder. <laughs> An excellent proposition. All right. Sims, you seem busy. Lazar? Time to break out your Russian, Bell. Uh, what do you think about Park? Well, she's... <laughs> you know what this dude thinks about Park? She's a true professional. I don't trust anyone at first, but after Berlin, I realize she's the real deal. <laughs> Park's one of the guys to me. <laughs> one of the guys my ass. Yeah, yeah. You been uh, to the Lubyanka building before? <laughs> Hell no. KGB headquarters? Just between you and me. And me. And Sims. I hope I never get closer than pulling up in a car and picking you up. This has every chance of going tits down. Up, man. Tits up. Honestly. Up, down. What's the difference? Either it's either one really makes go. just as much uh, sense. Sims, you good? Nope. All right. Well, I guess that's going to be it for today. Got any suggestions for someone to play next? Leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And have yourselves a good night.